Hey, what up, YouTube? What up, Fight World? It's your boy D Dynamite signing in, man, and I'm coming at you with some boxing. So, man, before I get started, man, I want to invite you guys to go to boxordie.com. That's box minus sign or minus sign die.com for the latest and greatest fight news. And before I go ahead and tell you guys how right I was at calling this fight. Let me go ahead and give a shout out to some Twitter followers, some new Twitter followers, man. Shout out to Crying, shout out to Punches and Bunches, and shout out to uh, Brian, oh, Gary Hayes, man. Shout out to you, man. My new followers, man, shout out to y'all boys. And while I'm giving shout outs, man, let me go ahead and shout out Robert Guerrero and Keith Thurman for giving us an awesome fight, man. Two warriors coming in the ring, doing what the fuck they gotta do, man. Shout out to them boys. All right. Shout out to Guerrero for showing the heart of a warrior. Shout out to Keith Thurman for proving to all the haters that he is the real deal, man. So shout out to them boys, man. So let me go ahead and tell you guys how right I was at calling this motherfucker. Wasn't that right, though? <laughs> anyway, though, man, I mean, if you want to see how right I was. Go ahead and put up the last video, Keith Thurman versus Robert Guerrero prediction, where I tell you not only who I had picking in this fight, which was Keith Thurman, but I tell you how I had Keith Thurman winning this fight, and I, would, I told you what he needed to do in order to win this fight. I also told you what Guerrero needed to do in order to win this fight. He didn't do none of what he needed to do to win this fight, uh, of course. But when he was doing some what he needed to do to win the fight, he had somewhat successful moments. So let's start there. Guerrero came out in the first three rounds of the fight, just like how I said he was going to come out. He was going to be prepared to box. Okay, he was going to be prepared to be textbook. He was going to be prepared to throw that jab. He was going to be prepared to cut the ring off. He was he was going to be prepared with the fundamentals of boxing, basically. Okay. All right. And he came out like that. All right. The first few rounds, Guerrero looked very competitive with Thurman. Of course, this was because Thurman was trying to read what he was doing and kind of falling back and not really engaging as much because he was trying to uh, analyze the situation. But nevertheless, he was very competitive with Thurman during those first two to three rounds. You saw his jab. You saw him cutting off the ring. You saw him doing little things here and there that he needed to do in order to win the fight. Now, my keys to victory for Robert Guerrero was him using using that jab. And when he was using that jab, he was very successful in neutralizing Thurman because Thurman relies a lot on timing. OK, so if you can throw his timing off, um, you can possibly get to him. But like I said, just like how I said, Guerrero got caught with some Thurman punches and he panicked. He threw the game plan out the window and you can tell. All right. He did not stick to the game plan. All right. All right. Guerrero needed to come in there with his jab, moving his head. All right. Giving some angles, lining him up with that straight left hand to the head, to the body. OK, he wasn't doing that. OK, he wasn't doing that. Trying to get on the inside, trying to get a little bit. Outside, he wasn't doing the things that he needed to do. OK, and you saw what happened. So, like I said, this fight went just like how it went for the first three rounds. Guerrero got caught after that. He tried to fight. OK, and we saw what happened after that. After about the fourth round, you see Guerrero starting to get brutalized because Thurman now at this point has picked up his timing and is now catching him cleanly. OK, with hard shots. I told you guys this was going to be a very brutal fight and I was right. OK. Guerrero was getting hit with some monster shots. OK, until he finally got dropped. I don't remember exactly what round it was. Uh, the fight was on Saturday. I'm doing this on Tuesday morning, so I don't remember exactly what round, um, but he got dropped. Okay, when he got dropped, 
I was very skeptical as to whether he was going to get up or not because I told you if Guerrero got rid of his fundamentals that he needed in order to win this fight, it would possibly be a very early night for him. Okay? I had Thurman brutalizing him regardless, but him letting go of his fundamentals, I had him possibly getting stopped. Even though overall I had him not getting stopped in this fight. If you're confused, just go back to the last video. Keith Thurman versus Robert Guerrero prediction, okay? In any case, moving on. So, as Guerrero continues to get uh, caught and he gets dropped finally, now he gets up and he starts showing that Guerrero heart, which is a beautiful thing. But then he starts to do the things that I, I tell you he's going to do. He starts to try to come on the inside. He's not very smart about it, so he gets caught repeatedly trying to come on the inside but he doesn't care which is which is fine because it's either you're going to come in reckless or you're going to come in strategically or you're not going to come in at all but you can't come in with a half-ass strategy okay so he came in reckless he was getting caught he was getting he was getting beat up all right he finally gets to the inside and he gets a little bit of action against Keith Thurman okay he gets on the inside he smothers him all right, he gets he, he gets some punches off, okay? They really don't have any power. He really didn't do much to Thurman. Other than putting that huge ass knot on Thurman's head, god damn, that shit was disgusting. I hate seeing shit like that, man. It looked like he had a pregnant head. Uh, it was disgusting to look at, man. But shout out to Keith Thurman, man. But that shit was nasty. <laughs> oh man, but you know. Like, like I said, he wasn't doing the work he was supposed to be doing. Now, let's talk about Thurman, man. Thurman came in there. All right. His timing was good. He was throwing a variety of punches up, down, up, down to the body, to the head. Okay. He was throwing power shots. He was looking real good in there, man. So, you know, I mean, it's just not much to say about Thurman because I've seen this from him before. All right. He didn't show me anything that I've never seen. For the people that have never seen Keith Thurman, yeah, you're going to be shocked. But I've seen this from Thurman, so I'm not surprised. He definitely shows that progression every fight. Um, every every fight, his his style gets more and more refined, and that's what you want to see from a fighter, man. But all in all, man, this was an epic fight, man. This was a good start off to NBC's Premier Boxing Champions, man. I had a blast watching it. I was watching it with my daughter, man. She was all Google guy and shit, and I was like, all right. Did you see that? She was like, goo, goo, ga, ga. But anyway, man, it was beautiful. I enjoyed the shit. Let me know what you thought about it. All right, who did you have picking in this fight, man? That You know, you dudes that pick Guerrero now, you know, if I hear that you're picking Guerrero, I'm going to shout you out as picking Guerrero, <laughs> okay? You guys going to have to start eating crow, man. If you listen to my channel and you making predictions on my comment page, I'm going to start calling you guys out, man, you guys who are picking Guerrero. And you guys going to have to eat some crow, man. But in any case, man, your boy D Dynamite. Until next time, I'm about to sign out. Don't forget to go on hit me up on Twitter at Box Capital X or Capital X Die, man. You can also hit me up at Facebook at Box Minus Sign or Minus Sign Die. And my website at Box Minus Sign or Minus Sign Die dot com, man. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, it's your boy D Dynamite signing out. I let your motherfucking boy.